fascinated by the insights they've brought on table from diverse polarities of life and what life has shown them and what work they are doing today. I'm going to play a little bit of a mind read over here and um, take it to the next level. Aren't you all wondering that it's great I'm getting these insights, perspectives of you know what the digital world has in store. But what is the question in your mind right now? What's in it for me, right? This is exactly what I was thinking when I started my career, right? So say sometime around 2010, 11, fresh out of B school, I was like, okay, I've done my specialization in branding and marketing and I was into people business. How do I merge these two? And I'm going to begin with sharing my story because that's something that keep getting asked off again and again. That like, tell me, what do you do? More importantly, how did you end up doing this, right? So as most of you all have known by now that I'm into the business of people brand management. This industry, so to speak, did not exist until 2005, 2006. It was only the economic crisis in the West of 2008 that actually boosted this industry of building the brand called you. Why will an economic crisis be directly related to how you as an individual, as a professional, need to manage your personal brand? So simply put, a brand is nothing but a promise, right? A promise of value which needs to be delivered as promised, agree? Yes. Now the promise could be made by an organization or an individual, agree? So your personal brand is nothing but the promise you make which stands to be delivered. It is who you say you are, what you're exceptionally good at and how you're going to deliver on that value proposition you bring on the table as the professional. It's a beautiful mosaic of different dimensions of your personality and your professional expertise. These dimensions are things like your value system, things that you believe in, your ethics, your morals, your principles, your passions, things that you love to do. The purpose that you live your life by. What is it that you believe in? What is it that drives you, fuels you up every single day to want to make a difference in the world? Your vision, the difference that you wish to make the soul of your personal brand emerges from these dimensions, your core values, passions, purpose, and vision that you live your life by. This is what defines and celebrates the brand called you. Now, going back to my story, having set context, what your personal brand is all about, I was at crossroads. I was like, okay, I've been into people business now. I want to have my own boutique brand consulting outfit. Oh my God, help me. What am I going to do? Right? And a synchronicity has it. Universe tells you exactly what you need to do in your life. Agree or no? That's when I chance upon the concept of the brand called you. I read this article by a management guru called Tom Peters and it blew my mind. I'm like, this is exactly what I've been thinking of at the back of my mind. Is there any way that I can combine these two passions that I have and build something absolutely noble and exotic? And that's when I ventured into the beautiful industry of personal brand management. Why do I call it a beautiful industry? Because it helps individuals, laymen like you and I, to build our personal brand the way we desire for our lives to be built. You become the co-creators, curators, and celebrations of your careers, your destiny, and your legacy. You do not have to be a Shah Khan or a Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg today to be a brand in the industry. All you need is the passion and the vision to do something truly extraordinary with your lives. How many of you all believe that you have what it takes to be whatever industry you pick and choose, okay? It doesn't matter right now. You have what it takes to be the Steve Jobs of that industry that you venture into. How many of you all believe that about yourself? How many of you all see yourself as the CEO in the next 10 years? Whichever industry you venture into, it does not matter. 
If you looked around, there were more hands up in the second question. Did you notice that? What does this tell you? That leaders are very many. But thought leaders are a rare and distinguished breed. Why? These are the dreamers. They dream of the day after tomorrow today and lead the world towards it. Change is the soul of that thought leadership that you personify. Your thought leadership becomes the soul of your leadership, devoid of which, mark my words, devoid of which your personal brand lacks the most beautiful element of it all. What could that be? Soulful inspiration. We human beings are wired to seek inspiration in almost everything around us. Agree? We seek inspiration in other people's stories. We resonate with their stories. Why? Because we see a little bit of ourselves in them. Your personal brand is this story of your dreams, of the journey that you've now embarked upon to fulfill those dreams. Every story begins with a dream and ends with a legacy. But what transpires in between is what makes your personal brand truly iconic. Imagine a story full of passion, vision, aspiration, inspiration, learnings, teachings, setbacks, milestones, and above all, that dream come true. The dream, the dare, and the do that you do until the very end of it all, makes your story absolutely legendary. Today, as we live in the digital generation, we are expected to be storytellers, agree? But what kind of a story are you going to tell at this stage in your careers, when you've barely stepped out into the corporate realm, when you've not graduated enough in your life and career to have a story of achievements, accomplishments, impact to tell. You start shaping your story. To not become storytellers. The whole world is trying to become a storyteller, isn't it? Become a story shaper. Start building, crafting your story as you're living it and shaping it every single day. And this is where I go back to the mosaic of your personal brand. We call it your VPs, your brand's values, vision, passion, and purpose, which will help you in shaping the story of your career and your life. I'm not saying it's not important to be a good storyteller. Yes, absolutely. If you aspire to be in the public, uh, you have to be a good storyteller. But is it a mandate? Absolutely not. You can become an extraordinary story shaper doing your own do in the dimension that you are comfortable in. The only difference between these two is what is that vision that you're shaping? Because a storyteller is taking you through to the journey that has been. But as a story shaper, what are you going to do? Walk with the world looking at your footsteps every single day while you shape the story of your life, while you share the challenges, the learnings, the inspirations that you are absorbing every single day as a professional, as an individual, while you are embarking on this journey of impact, of transformation, be it for whatever purpose and vision that you have for your own life and your own career. So, the key message I want you to take home today with you is, it does not matter where I'm coming from. It does not matter who I am today. What matters is that focused tunnel vision. Where do I see myself five years down the line? What do I need to do today to reach there? When was the last time you did something that we call as a brand audit? When was the last time you asked five people in your group, what do you think about me? You know, your brand, while we say on one hand, is a value of promise you bring on the table. 
Don't you think your brand is also your reputation? Yes? It's what people know, think, feel about you. It's what people talk about you when you're not in the same room with them. Have you ever asked people that you live, work, play with, what do you think about me and my personal brand? How have I impacted you? Do that. Select five people that you believe will add constructive value to this feedback that you're seeking and go and ask them, what do you think about my personal brand? And these are the insights that you have to work on. You may like what you've told, you may be absolutely abhorred by what you hear, but this is a mirror exercise which will help you at this stage in your career understand what I believe my brand, my capabilities, my strengths, my weaknesses to be, are they the same what others believe it to be? Is there a parity, you know, is there a similarity? Are we on the same ground? Because if you're not, do you have a problem? This is the right time in your careers to do this activity for yourself because you're moving out in the corporate world. Don't you want to have absolute control on how people start perceiving you? What kind of an impact you have on people? On the relationships that you're building? This is how you need to measure that periodically throughout your life as you grow. And the final piece of advice I would leave you with is don't think of your career as a singular pathway. Focus on reinventing your personal brand every five to seven years. Have you heard of something that we say you have to be the jack of all trades? Yes. And how do you complete that? Master of? None? Are you sure? Very sure. Will you bet your life on it? How many of y'all? Master of one or none? I'm not able to hear you. One. Hmm. But that wasn't what they said, right? Here's what I say. You have to be the jack of all trades. You have to know how to get the job done, right? Those generalist skill set. You have to be the master of some. There's few things, skill sets that you must have that you're very, very good at. And you're constantly developing yourself and becoming better and better and better at those. But you have to be the emperor of that one thing that you're so good at doing that nobody can beat you on. That has to be the calling card of your personal brand. It's your deep expertise. Either you have it today or you've at least identified it today that you wish to build for the next three to five years of your life. How many hours it takes to develop deep expertise and mastery in something? There's a research. Have you all been aware of this? 10,000 hours. You have to devote 10,000 hours of your life over one subject matter to develop mastery or deep expertise in it. Agree? Also the research says, right? Think of it that every five years, you need to reinvent that subject matter expertise. Because don't you think the world is getting obsolete in two years? I'm still telling you five years. I'm giving you a grace period. The world is getting obsolete in two years, right? Your personal brand will get obsolete in two to three years if you don't focus on reinventing the brand you and the core value proposition and the skills that you bring on the table as the thought leaders and experts of tomorrow. So a specialist generalist is somebody who is absolutely focused on building deep specialization in one subject matter over a period of time and then moves on to the next. You need to plan your life based on things that inspire you, things that draw you, things that make you curious, things that keep you awake at night, because these are the things that you're going to possibly choose to do for the rest of your life, because they draw you in. And these are the things you'll only develop your expertise in. Invest your 20s to explore and experiment 
which are those two to three industries or skill sets that you would like to hone, develop and cultivate for your personal brand. Your 30s have to be all about building on those skill sets even deeper. Your 40s have to be all about milking on the brand and the deep expertise you've built for the last 15, 20 years of your career. Think of it in this way. You have to build in your 30s because 20s you're experimenting, right? You have to milk it in your 40s and you have to bask in the glory of this amazing footprint and legacy of work that you've created for the last 20, 30 years. This is your career mantra for the next 30 years of your life. Ask yourself, are you ready to give in all that it takes? No, very convincing. Well, let's do that once again. Ask yourself, using these new insights and the opportunities that we've shared with you all today, do you have what it takes to build an absolutely extraordinary legacy of the brand called you? Yes. Brilliant. So, let me close the session with having a huge round of applause for each one of you who've taken this onus to build something truly extraordinary for your lives and careers.